everyone. Today I'm going to show you a quick um, and simple uh, card that you can make using a selection of products from Sticks 2 and Imagination Crafts. So the sort of theme for this card came about when I received um, these little die cuts here, which are bird die cuts, um, and they're from Sticks 2. And when I got them, I thought that they would create quite a nice sort of um, love or wedding -y themed card by having one either side of a heart and that's where this sort of idea took off and I've just basically cut some bits and pieces out and um, I'm just going to put together a card that I think will work and hopefully you will too. So the piece I've done here on the backing already is a piece of um, glitter card which comes from Styx 2 and it's really lovely and thick. It's got a gorgeous shimmer to it that hopefully you can see. And all I've done is I've just cut a piece which was um, 21 by 10 to go onto this um, sort of like long card that I've got here. And then I've used Styx 2 double sided tape to stick it down. So I'm going to pop that one to one side. The next thing is um, a little die cut heart which actually came from a place name at a friend's wedding that I kept hold of um, it had my name on it and I thought oh that's really pretty I'm gonna make that into something um, so I've basically kept hold of that one I've then used a die cut and die cut onto some textured card um, just plain white textured card um, another heart which then I can layer this one onto there as you can see then I've taken two of the little birds and I'm gonna put those either side of the heart and then this piece here is um, just die cut from mirror board it's a, an I love you sentiment and that's a tonic die so I'm just going to get straight in and show you what it is that I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take this one here and I'm going to just buff it up a little bit with a bit of silver alchemy wax from Imagination Crafts. Now the reason I chose to do it in a wax and not a paint is because it dries quicker. It gives a sort of a really light finish that's not too heavy. I didn't want anything too heavy on this piece. I just wanted it really light because you've got that strong silver in the background of the card. So I just thought I'd give it a really light finish. Now these alchemy waxes are brilliant for all sorts of things and depending how you apply them and what you apply them to you'll get different effects. So because I'm using a light, uh, this is an Imagination Craft stencil brush, but because I'm using a light soft brush it's just going on nice and lightly and it's um, taken to the card perfectly well as you can see. I'm just going to give it that little bit of a shimmer rather than being plain white. Hopefully you can see just how quick and easy you can uh, get a little bit of colour, a little bit of shimmer onto um, your cardstock by using an alchemy wax rather than using a paint. Um, another tip for those is if you want a quick drawing paint, Starlight from Imagination Crafts are fantastic too, but they're obviously high in pigments and much stronger colours, which is what I only wanted a hint of colour, which there you can see in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is just layer that onto the card and the best thing i found for, for really intricate filigree sort of um, die cuts is to use the Styx 2 um, glue pen. Now it dries clear so don't worry if you do go over any edges or anything um, but it's just great because it's so fine you can get it in right into the little edges of the die cuts. Just going to put a little bit around the edges like so and then carefully up and just pop it in the centre of this one. Try not to make too much of a mess with my inky fingers. Um, obviously having some wet wipes to hand would be handy so you can just get off any residue of the wax that you've got in your fingers but it dries so quickly that it's never really a problem when I'm creating. There we go, so that one I'm happy with now so it's got a sort of layered up effect. Hopefully you can see now it's got a nice shimmer from the alchemy wax on there. So another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could add um, a little bit of glitter. And again, this little pen's brilliant for that because you can just put it where you want it, even if you only want tiny little areas to have a little bit of glitter on. And then just gives it that extra bit of shimmer. Don't be afraid um, if areas of the glitter stick where you don't want them. You can just brush them off with a dry brush. So hopefully if I can pick this one up, there we go. And then I'm just using here Styx 2 Iridescent Glitter. Um, it's a real shimmery, light, fine glitter, so it's not too chunky and heavy. And just remember, any areas where that blue, um, blue pen is, it will dry clear, so don't panic. And then I'm just going to tap that off. So I've just got shimmer all over where it's attached to the sort of 
um, where it's still a bit damp on the um, alchemy wax and I've just caught little areas here where you can see that I wanted the glitter with the glue pen so I wanted a bit more in certain areas but because I've gone on when it's still slightly damp um, wax and it's not air dried quite yet um, it's caught in nice areas which I like the shimmer and sheen too hopefully you can see that really sparkly okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch these up a little bit with the glitter as well so I'll just go back onto this piece and as I've already glittered it and again I'm just going to use my um, stick stew pen and I'm just going to go onto the edge under the belly here now you could use your alchemy wax on these as well because these are a nice textured cardstock they do take really well to the waxes you can see here I've done it on this one and that was on the alchemy wax the silver one and then I've just done the the glittery edges the the only issue with that was it blended too well into the silver card so that's why I'm not doing a silver bird on this one I'm just gonna just do a bit of glitter on the edges like so and then just shake it all on and as I say it will dry clear so don't panic where the blue is it's gonna dry nice and clear and I'm gonna do the same over here on this bird I do love this stick stew pen it's fantastic for just the small areas that you want and it's a nice fluid pen as well so it goes on nice and easy and then this fine glitter again just shaking it on there we go so i'll just leave those to one side whilst they dry slightly and you can see already it's drying and going clear so back to the card that we started with i'm going to pop this in the center Sorry about that, someone came in so I just had to serve a customer, but I'm back now. Um, so as I say, I'm just going to pop that in the centre and I'm going to use a couple of the Stix2 foam pads. And that's just going to give that a raised effect. A raise one there to there. And then hopefully, without measuring, just going to choose where I think the centre is. I'm going to put that there and then this one here I'm going to put down here and again I'm going to I think I'm going to use the glue pen for this one um, now it will need holding down or some pressure to stick it down with this one because it's much longer much heavier cardstock but it should be fine once I've put plenty of the glue pen on all around the edges I could have done this with their uh, PVA fine nozzle as well, but that's upstairs in my other craft room. So I'm just going to do it with the glue pen and then I'm going to stick it down underneath. Now what I might do is just pop those on there. Sorry about that, someone else came in. <laughs> um, so I've just basically popped those two on there um, and let them rest and as you can see that's stuck down now as well. Um, so the birds I'm just going to grab and tap off any of the excess glitter. You can see that's nearly dried completely clear now as well. There we go. And I'm going to stick those on again with some foam pads. I find these stick to foam pads are absolutely brilliant. They come in lots of different sizes, so you can get them for all of your different projects. You can get really big ones, you can get really small ones, um, and they're perfectly sticky, so they're not going to um, keep coming undone or anything like that. So I'm just going to pop that one down there, and then I'm going to do the same for this one. Just a couple on there. down there like that there we go and then I'm just gonna finish I think maybe with a couple of pearls in the corners just 
and then just some self adhesive pearls in the corners and I think I'm done so I'm happy with that and hopefully you can see um, how shimmery the the alchemy wax there has given that nice little die cut heart and um, how easy it is to to use that sticks to glue pen to get the little detailed areas of of shimmer and um, it all comes together really well on that lovely sticks to glittery card backing as always any questions just give me a shout hopefully you like the card um, i'll try and do a close-up picture of it now for instagram um, hope you like my demo